Welcome back to this war of mine. This time we are going through the game with Boris to see if he can beat Araka's score of 245. I mean, he's likely to beat Anton's on 101, but let's see how things go. So the idea behind this challenge, if you're not familiar with it, is I'm going through characters one by one and then making them try to get as much resources, as many resources and as much materials, etc. that they can before the end of the war. 30 day war, moderate of everything, just to see which character is fundamentally the best in a scientific way, because there is so much argument about which character is the best, which character isn't. So, we're going to do a, a scientific experiment, because that will surely clear up all of the issues that we have been encountering. But, you know, what we're going to do. Go cool. up first, Boris starts slightly sick, that's kind of routine. So yeah, the main videos of this, if you've not come across these before, is a bit more chill. But then there will at the end be a proper video, which is like the rundown of everything Boris did. The first, normally a lot of this is just going to be um, grabbing stuff the first few days. I did actually initially start with Boris, and then I had to take a break for work-related reasons. The day job, as it were. But... Um, yeah, when I went back to look at the recordings that I did uh, to at the start of Boris's run, um, I noticed that uh, the audio was shocking, as in you just couldn't hear a word I was saying at all. So I decided that the best thing I could do was to be to just re-go, start again from the beginning and just deal with it that way. Uh, let's get this up and running. Nice. The plan will be to get a shovel, get a crowbar, then we can just get through everything in day one. Um, plan as always is going to be to get the food set up, is going to be to get the materials. Uh, I'm trying to remember the um, metas that I found later on. A lot of water collectors I remember being good, literally because water's one each. Make sure to pick up any guns I can get, uh, make as much furniture as I can, uh, and alcohol is also a big bonus if it happens, but I don't think it is as required. Uh, I am interested to see how this all goes. I mean, a few of you guys are following along and have been doing it yourself, and I'm wondering which is the best character. I know I've taken a bit of a hiatus from it, and this will be the first one back after the new year, actually. Currently recording this in the lead-up to Christmas. Hope you guys all have a have had a great Christmas and a good new year. 2023, I hope um, everything's still... Well, I say everything's still good. Um, 2020 to 2022 has been a bit of an insane period of time. Oh, I should probably grab a crowbar while I'm here. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are all doing alright and had a decent uh, Christmas period. Uh, besides that, um, yeah, I'm trying to get again. This will be the first video actually after the launch of the other channel. So if you do like both this War of Mine gaming and the D&D uh, &D side of things that I've been doing, then by all means check out my other channel, which is going to be called Andy and D. And um, so you guys can see how that is going on and uh, it's just to keep it separate. I know there are some people who like both, there are some people who like one or the other so that's great. If you like one or the other I that makes perfect sense just because I like both things doesn't mean everyone is. But the fact is is if I try and put them all on the same channel we get algorithm issues, people don't get to see what they want to see, people get annoyed when they see the things they don't want to see. It's just easier this way if I just kind of let it, let it happen is the thing. So yeah, and that one will, will be a bit more focused on D&D, &D, kind of all of the shorts, all of the stuff like that. Because while there was a bit of overlap when I did some of like the gaming stuff in D&D, &D, it just didn't quite work properly. As for this though, this War of Mine, the one thing I would love about this War of Mine is if there was a bit more modded areas. I've been struggling recently with the lack of mods. It's an interesting idea. Uh, there are lots of things we could do, but I think it's just a little bit... Um, a little bit old as a game now. People aren't, there's, the modding area is a bit less than it would be for a newer game. Obviously that's like to be expected, you're not going to expect um, something like this to be constantly up, uh, upgraded with mods and stuff. The fact that it, the people who've made this have kept it most up to date because it had the little ones which was a few years ago, well quite a few years ago now, which was a good addition. I've not done a little, a little ones playthrough in a while actually. I think Sergey was that big period back in 2016-17, which was always fun. Um, so yeah, I'll try a little ones playthrough. Unfortunately you can only have one child in the house at any one point. That would be an interesting thing to get rid of modded. So yeah. 
Actually, this may not be the first. No, it will be. I'm trying to think, because I've also got the rest of the Full House playthrough for you guys, which should pop up uh, starting in the new year as well. Yeah, I've decided to kind of put a, a January kind of set off, because I feel like that makes things a lot easier for me. Here we go, this is good. Let's set Boris off. Um, I'm not going to get through everything today, but the thing, the thing is always to go out day one. Remember, the meta is always to go out after being raided, because just the amount of being raided twice in the trot is not as high. There we go, finally got some food. I was a bit starting to think we were going to be struggling with that. Um, where should I go next? Down the basement, down the first floor. The no, ground floor. And then we're going on to the first floor now. Let's start on the first floor. Get through this if I can. Uh, oh, that's why I didn't want you to go that way, Boris. Uh, yeah. Do I, do I take the tablets now? He's only slightly sick. I think it'll be fine. Uh, we're going out on the first day. Tomorrow we'll build ourselves a bed. Because that's the main thing. You kind of need to have a bed ready. If I do this top floor and then we can get this bit tomorrow. Nice. Got more food. This is all nice. I've always found it... I've always wanted to test whether or not um, you can leave stuff in these places. Leaving things in the places may actually be a better plan. Especially for, like, food. Because then you can just be like, I have a food that is safe from raiding. But that seems A, a bit cheaty, and B, um, I'm not sure if it would work. So I never want to risk it. Uh, let's go down. So yeah, the so far in this playthroughs, if you've not been paying attention or this is your first video you've seen, we have gone through the, we're doing alphabetically, so we've done Anton and then Arika, Boris is number three. Uh, Anton got about just over 100 points, um, but he didn't make it even to the end of the playthrough. Unfortunately, he died, which was a shame. Uh, but besides that, uh, we've also had Arika, who did really well, like got some really high scores towards the end. We discovered a lot of metas with her, which unfortunately I'm starting to think I've forgotten. So maybe it was fairer that I started again here. Um, but that's all good. Let's see. I'm not going to be able to pull that off in time. It's already 10 minutes till the end of the day. Boris is a little bit slow than most characters, so yeah, there we go, night time. Uh, we've got the garage. Oh, we've also already got the garage, that's good. You know what, going to the garage day one could be really big, really, really big. You know what, I'm going to go to the garage day one. I think that that, because we have this, that is a big, big bonus. Because there's a lot of stuff there that we can pick up and grab. And I don't think I need this, especially now that I've got this. I'm going to just go for this tactic. And just, just trade these away, get the hatchet and get some hacksaws first. Then I'm pretty pretty golden for a little while. Yeah, I think that's it. And then I then the final thing I need is a gun, which is when the supermarket comes into effect. And we'll just do that easy. Nice. Uh, here we go. Things going well so far. I didn't not sure if this is always the first time, but let's uh, let's go and trade get the stuff we need and then we can Keep going Normally do two or three days in one of these videos depending on how fast it goes uh, Yep, yeah, you can have this and this I will take that off your hands and that uh, What else do you have anything of use? Um, hmm thing is, materials are not the, necessarily what I need, um, but food could be, um, as could parts, actually. I think parts is, yeah, I think that's the way to do it. Like so. I'm happy with that, because these are less likely to, you're less likely to come by these as you go along, so that's fine. Nice uh, deal. Quickly look at my backpack. Nice. Let's go and just grab absolutely everything else we can get. Tomorrow we're going to have to start building uh, like actual workbenches like the oven and the other things like that. But we shall see. Grab all. We're just going to keep grabbing everything we can because it saves a bit of time. If I remember correctly, this is always empty. And I always come up here and then get disappointed with myself for coming up here. But you know what they say about insanity? It's obviously what I have because this is full of lots of useful materials. Um, I'm happy with that, I think. And I you know what, I'm just going to run to the exit. Just get through this. Because I could go to the uh, back end and stuff, but I've got I've got enough. Boris is fine. Boris is going to do... I, I, I'm confident that Boris is going to get a good score in this entire thing. 
But yes, I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, it seems to have got quite a bit of traction on the channel, which is always nice to see you guys getting actively involved in everything, which is nice. Um, but we will see how things go in the long run. You're hungry and tired, and we can smash up some more stuff. Let's quickly get... Um, try to work out what the best plan of action is here. Lots of things to smash up. I think it may be worth me getting a bed, though, first. And I need a bed and I... Ooh, wrong thing, this one. Bed and a cooker is the two things that I am really in desperate need of. So let's put the cooker down first, because then I can eat today. Because that's something that if I forget to do, it will just end up running long. Um, I will should upgrade that as well. Upgrading, There's a lot of stuff here that needs to be upgraded, which will push up a lot of the points. But we will see in how things go. This is very, very nice. Ah. <sighs> How are you guys all doing? Uh, you um, Tell me what you think about the switching channel to lay out, like focusing on gaming on this one and having a separate thing somewhere else for it, for the other stuff. Can I upgrade this? Yes, I can. Let's get this upgraded straight away because then I don't need to worry about it going forward and I will not be wasting any extra fuel or any water or anything like that on making food. I just kind of do it as it goes. Then I'm hungry. I'll eat. No, eat day three, I remember then it's every odd day so nothing to eat today but at least got it up and running slightly sick i will take the meds there and i will um then make a bed and sleep sleep it off the day um maybe actually i'll go through and collect everything else and then sleep or i could sleep just overnight tonight you know what? i'm gonna just do that i'm just gonna sleep now until we get a raid it's much much better to sleep until you get a raid nice uh, and also you're more likely to get rid of this condition I do need, however, need a bed for this kind of, to be able to sleep at night. So let's get the bed up and running. Ooh, just enough uh, materials. Can I not? That's weird I can't put it up there. Is there something there that's in the way? Um, uh, what's it called? Where is the... Yeah, I'll put the bed in the middle. I like, I like to be able to stare at the stars at night when I go to bed, of course, in this... I think I've got this a few times. Maybe everyone's had this. It's the um, it's like the radio one from the last broadcast, which I do have recorded. Like I've not uploaded that one yet, but I do have it recorded. I need to remember to just put that together because it's a really good uh, uh, game uh, of this. And I should also just do some regular some scenarios. Honestly, if you guys make scenarios on and put them onto the workshop and you just tell me about them, then I'll do them because that would be really really fun to do. Cool, we've got the bed. Let's start to, uh, let's know what's the thing. Yeah, let's go this way and talk this out. No, 100%. If you guys have got scenarios you want me to try out, or like, either you've made them, or you really, really like them, and you found them on the server, on the network, on the workshop, let me know. I'll go for them, because that would be great. For a bit of fun on that one. Um, but yeah. Good, very nice. You can climb up the top here, and we will see where things go. I wonder if do you guys like how do you guys watch these videos? Like, do you guys have them on in the background? Do you guys um, like avidly watch them, paying full attention? Because for me, if I was watching my own videos, which is a weird thing to think about, I'd mostly be just in the background because it's sort of thing that you can watch nicely while doing work or like I'm doing homework or something. I'm not the sort of high energy impact YouTuber that it needs to be constantly like gripping your attention. I'm much more of a calm. Like, this is just what I'm doing. I enjoy playing, I enjoy teaching, is a lot of the thing. A lot of what I do is is teaching. Ooh, nice food. So yeah, I think that's the, the issue, is I don't know enough games well enough to teach them. And that's why I stick with this War of Mine so much. I, I'm hoping to learn a few other games, like I'm trying to play more Frostpunk, because that's similar vein, just hard. It's a hard game. Genuinely. Um, I'm doing a Minecraft series as well at the same time, which will come out in time. Mostly shorts, actually. Um, just trying to bring traffic into the channel and build up this uh, mixture of audiences. Because I don't want to... As much as um, This War of Mine is great, it is a game that doesn't have click value, if that makes sense. So trying to get people to come and see this stuff. Because these are good... Like, this is a good game and there's a lot you can do with this game. But people aren't going to come to it naturally, so I'm trying to bring people into a into the channel so that they can 
explore the games that I've played and stuff like that. Maybe I'll do a bit more Banished, maybe a bit more um, Plate Up. There's just a lot of games I could play. Like, I'm big into Grand Strategy, like Civ, EU4, etc. But they're really hard to make videos on. Unless you've got... Like, I've seen some YouTubers do it, and they've got it down to a fine art. But it is very, very specific. So, I, I think is also the issue with Discord of mine as a channel, as a YouTube concept, or the way YouTube works. So there's very few similar games. So, yeah. It would be a... I wonder what Steam would say about if you liked this war of mine you'd also like. Because this is a quite gritty, and it's not... I don't think there's anything with the, quite the same level of grit in the same puzzly style. Because obviously there are a lot of FPSs which are gritty, and stuff like The Last of Us, and a lot of the zombie games which end up being quite uh, choices, moral choices, there's the entire Telltale Games thing. Which actually, weird, weird point, was the reason, one of the first things I was wanting to do on this channel was Telltale Games, is The Walking Dead. Random fact there. Years and years ago I just probably saved on my parents computer somewhere the initial recording of me doing the season 2 of Telltale Games, because that's when I was about to start it. And yeah, so that's out there somewhere. Um, me trying to like talk and record at the same time, like in the middle of the hallway where everyone was walking past, which was just weird. But we will see. Cool, we got through a lot of today. We've had some busy first few days, but after this, kind of things will sneak and quieten down. We've got the bed, um, we're going to sleep through the night. We'll be um, hungry tomorrow, but that's fine. I think I'll do one more day in this episode, and then we'll move on, and you guys can... I'll then I'll cut it for, day, for episode one. Cool. We've got a few of the best places coming up. Um, ooh. Part of me is debating going to the supermarket just to get it out of the way. The likelihood of losing of someone raiding in day one is unlikely. However, I don't want to risk it and I'm just going to stay. We can do day three, which will just be eating, waiting for maybe the trader to come. Maybe building up some barricades and things. Night was calm, I could have just waited. Uh, that's fine. There you go. At least we're no longer sick. That's an important one. Because that spiralled. I think that's what took out uh, Anton in the end. just didn't really think about it. It's, and the fact that this is upgraded is going to save me so much fuel in the long run. Especially when winter comes. Because there is winter in this game. We've got winter, we have got... Um, and normally there's an outbreak of crime. Which always puts me in a bit of a tight spot. But that's fine. Good, you've eaten. Um, now, let's see what I can do. Things-wise... Oh, I don't have many things. That's That's the difficulty. Lots of, lots of st struggling to have things to do. Um, I've got a chair. Yeah, there's not really anything I can do, because I built... I think upgrading this took a lot of my stuff. That's fine, though. I kind of can wait. I should have gone out and got more stuff. Oh, well. But yeah, um, Boris can sit there while we wait. Hopefully the trader will come and I can give this, this for stuff. For components so when I'm saying stuff I'm meaning components so um but that's fine but yeah uh, so I'm I'm quite confident for Boris's right actually I think that with some traps set up getting the guns I think he may be the first person to get the sniper junctions smoke doped assault rifle which will be a good one we may get a lot of the rainwater collectors eventually just to get lots and lots of water get the upgrade, we've already got an upgraded oven, but we can get the upgraded workshops. But just because the amount of stuff that Boris can get back each time he goes out. Because the thing is, in this playthrough, because you're the only person, actually going out after uh, after being caught, or being raided, is a premium. Because that doesn't necessarily happen so often. But yeah, I'm here to, we're going to want to trade for materials. Perfect. So if I give you that, that's 10 for one of those, which is not really enough. Um, herbs can be eventually used to make meds, I think. Yes, that is true, but I'm not sure I can do that right now. So if I do that, is that, if I start to drop off, okay, I can do that. I've still got 15 of those if needs be but that is a decent chunk of 
components to be able to actually do stuff with. Deal. Cool, that's perfect. Um, let's see if I can upgrade this. How much wood do I have? I've got 46 wood. So my logic is, if I can upgrade this and start to board up everything, then I just need to go get the gun, and then I'm actually, I think, will be safe from raids. Obviously, getting the reinforced door is also a big bonus, but if I can get away with... Um, yeah, no, that's fine. I'll send him away in a minute, but let's keep on focusing on getting everything... Everything up and running. It's important. But yeah. Mm. This is a fun little playthrough. The issue I do have is also trying to find things to fill the time, because initially in this these playthroughs we do end up with a lot of time waiting for Boris to get to get on with the things he's doing. So I end up sitting here talking. Um because now I can make uh, all three of those. That's perfect. I can also make a moonshine still. Yeah, this is all very good. Let's uh, let's do this. Uh, let's send him away first and then go fix that up. And I think that'll be the end of the episode at this point. Uh, just as a way of getting through and pushing things up. Bye bye. There we go. Nice. Let's get get working on boarding up everything. A boarded up house is a safe and happy house. We can sleep through most of what the was the, the entire world's going to throw at us. If I can get that reinforced door, though, that means sleep is much better than guarding. Because at the moment, I'm kind of thinking, while I slept through that first one, I should probably guard from now on and then let him sleep in the dazed. Just because that's so much better than sleeping at night. Because if they come and raid us, we'll just end up in a position where we can actually fight them back if we're guarding. Unless we have the door, in which case we just sleep whenever we want to sleep. Uh, nice. I may get all three of these borders ups done on day three, which is a strong, strong start. Nice. Nice. Good. One's done. Run down. And then... Honestly, I may actually spend day three... No, I'll do it on day four. We'll guard tonight, and then sleep tomorrow on the first day of episode two, and then see if I can get the gun. Because getting the gun means I can then really focus on just score. Because I want to be in a situation where I can just push score up rather than worrying about other things. I'll also give my Arica one a bit of a rewatch just to see um, what metas I worked out and calculated to see, make sure that it's all fair across the board. That's the issue with this experiment as such. That Zlatter is probably going to get a much better running than Anton did because... Just because I didn't know what was going on with Anton. I may, I, as I've said before, I'll give Anton another run, probably at the end, to see if he does any better. He's a difficult character, but that's what we're going to do. I'm hoping to get better at... This is probably making me a bit better at this war of mine as well. Thinking about it more as a bit more uh, the obvious ways of winning. Because normally you're worried about getting things right. And using food correctly, and using meds correctly, and etc, etc. But now I'm kind of almost going on top of that, and just thinking score-wise, what's the best? Which I think is a way of showing that the game is going well. Good, I can probably get the third one of these done. Nice. Just to make sure we are all boarded up, I'll end the day there. Sleep, no guard, tomorrow, and we'll end the episode there. As I'm doing that, I will say thank you guys for your continued support with this channel. It always means a lot, and I will talk to you guys next time. Ta-boop-ta-ra. See you soon.